once you actually give hope to people, then people are actually able to do almost anything that they desire to do. And therefore I'm saying that SIDA is not just giving education to those young people, but it's saying to them, you know, the sky is the limit. Anything that you want to achieve can actually be achieved. You know, as South Africa has become more integrated into the global economy, you need people who are skilled. And now CEDA becomes a beacon of hope because we are providing skills for these people, for our young people to go into the workplace, back to the communities to assist. So that hope is, it's a reality. It's not some abstract notion. We are actually doing it. We are providing hope and we're making sure that we can give back to South Africa as well. CEDA is um, one of, South, I think it's actually South Africa's first virtually free university. And so the whole mission and vision is to allow um, students who come from the uh, previous disadvantaged background an opportunity to get a degree and to generally have a better life for themselves and obviously their family and you know their local communities as well. If we look across South Africa, we have 33,000 schools in this country, then we've got 21 education institutions which are enormously expensive and so on so you're going from I think it's eight or eleven thousand secondary schools into these 21 institutions of higher learning naturally the vast majority of people 87 percent of people do not go on and, and, and study further so we wanted to find a low-cost sustainable way of getting the poorest of the poor off the streets particularly from rural areas and into South Africa's economy and also to have the skills so that they could build up their own institutions. I think the results are in the numbers of students that come out of here and what they do with their lives. In the past um, 10, 12 years, I've seen it really from nearly stage one to actually seeing there are 2,500 graduates who are out there in the workplace. Imagine I came here alone, not knowing where I was going. It was difficult even to find Cedar, because at that time Cedar was not known that much. And I, I, I can see it right now that my life is going somewhere. Because I've got a degree, I've got something to fall back on. So there's hope for me that whatever I want, I set myself my mind to, it will work out. Most of the students come from the rural areas. They have not been exposed to city life. They have not been exposed to technology. So at the foundation here, yeah, that is where we are giving them an, an introduction to all sorts of things that they have not had opportunity uh, to have in their life. And uh, what they learn here, they go back and plow back into their communities so as to make those uh, little ones in their respective communities to understand and also have a better life. The most important thing which uh, I learned at CIDA is that you have to plow back to, to the community. Everything you learned at CIDA, you have to take it back and teach the community back home. Katleho is um, one of the students who came to us from Lesotho and um, did extremely well, joined our uh, first master's program, it's called the Masters of Management in Social and Economic Transformation, something that we've set up um, with the Kellogg Foundation called GSALT, which is the Global School for African Leadership and Transformation. He is um, a, a member of local government in a, in a rural protectorate in um, Lesotho, and then he's also started his own development initiatives, and that's exactly the kind of spirit that we're embedding in all of our students. There, there, there's this concept that's very well known of Ubuntu, in, in, in uh, South Africa and Ubuntu is really about caring for other human beings and it's what you give to other people that builds your own life, it's not what you take. And deeply intrinsic in our model is to build an African university with a principle of Ubuntu where everybody gives, everybody's supporting the community and everybody goes back to teach and give back to the community. And it's great to see somebody like Katleho, like huge numbers of our students, you know, ultimately reaching hundreds of thousands of people in our communities because we've really re-enlivened that principle within them which is natural and intrinsic in Africa.
So my intention here is to produce students who can go to the university and immediately after graduation come back and to work here as to develop this area. The students have a fantastic attitude. There's a real determination to succeed and, and I think CEDA instills in them the sense of, which I have seen in many of the students, a sense of we can do it, we can, we can make it and we can make a success of our lives and, and the sense of hope and the sense of possibility which is fantastic, you know, they don't leave depressed, <laughs> they leave excited about the possibilities. I feel so proud that indeed we are doing something so significant in the lives of those individuals, but also in the lives of those communities that are out there. situation where we try to transform our economy and so if CEDA can be an, a vehicle for that skills development obviously then we're contributing to South Africa's growth um, and the future of the country but I also think that it's important for our students to recognize that for them to become natural leaders they need to go back to their communities to get an understanding of what their communities need. We should be showing people the value in our young people, the value in our infrastructure, the value potentially in what we can create as an economy. And, and that's always what CEDA's set out to do, is when everybody's running this way and saying there's no hope, we're running this way and we're saying there is hope and we're going to prove it and we can change the situation. If we can't do it for everybody today, we can do it for enough people to say that it is possible. And if we can do it, then other people can also do it. It doesn't necessarily have to be quite a number of people. As long as you change someone's life, you've done great.